Welcome to Steve's World at UK. Today we're at Bristol. So today, Bristol Aerospace is part of my world. So we've got a map of the area. We've got three sections to look at at the Aerospace Bristol, including the Aerospace Galleries, Concord Hangar, and a Conservation in Action Workshop. So come with me and let's take a tour. Aerospace Bristol is an aerospace museum at Filton to the north of Bristol, England. The project is run by the Bristol Aero Collection Trust and houses a varied collection of exhibits, including Concord Alpha Foxtrot, the final Concord to be built and the last to fly. The museum is situated on Filton Airfield and the main exhibition is housed in the First World War Grade 2 listed hangar with Concord situated in a new purpose-built building. The exhibition covers over 100 years of aviation history. So this horse-drawn Bristol tram was made by the Milnes Company and is one of a very few survivors from the late 19th century Bristol Tramways network. One side has been restored, the other side has been preserved in the state it was found in a garden down in Dynend. The Bristol Scout is a pre-war racer and was quickly and successfully adapted to scout and reconnaissance duties in wartime. Its potential as a nimble fighter was hampered by the Allies' lack of an effective synchronisation gear to allow the pilot to fire through the propeller without shattering it. On most scouts, the gun had to be mounted outside the propeller's arc, making it difficult to aim in dogfights. This lorry was built in 1920 by the Bristol Tramways and Carriage Company based in Brislington. It was created as an exhibition piece and has some unique features not seen on a typical model. Up next is the Bristol F2B fighter from 1915. The war office needed more manoeuvrable and reliable fighter planes to attack the superior German aircraft. In response, Frank Bond designed the iconic Bristol F2B fighter. An agile two-seater plane, the fighter could outmaneuver many of its German rivals. It was armed with both a forward-firing Vickers gun used by the pilot and a rear-mounted Lewis gun operated by the gunner.
artwork in the Capitol and sorted out for themselves where they go into And they usually The Sycamore was the first all-British designed and built helicopter to receive a certificate of airworthiness and to serve with the Royal Air Force. Britain's first twin rotor helicopter came after the success of the Sycamore. Bristol's helicopter department began work on an even more ambitious project, the Bristol Type 173. It first flew in 1952 and was Britain's first ever twin rotored helicopter. The Bristol 403 car was produced between 1953 and 1955. Smooth aerodynamic bodywork was tested using the company's aircraft wind tunnel facilities. It was fitted with a high-performance 100 bhp 2-litre six-cylinder engine based on the engine used in the BMW 328. The car had a top speed of 104 miles per hour. Bristol competed with other companies to exploit the passenger aircraft market. The company's most successful passenger aircraft during the post-war period was the Bristol Britannia Type 175. The Britannia faced stiff competition from America, whose Lockhead Constellation remained the market leader. However, as it was both quiet and economical, the Britannia, which was nicknamed the Whispering Giant, was purchased by a number of airlines, including BOC. It was used initially on the so-called Empire routes to Africa and India. This is a Mark II Bristol Bloodhound missile displayed on its mobile launcher. The Mark II was the second generation of its highly successful weapon and had over twice the range of its predecessor, the Mark I. The Harrier jump jet was an attack aircraft that served in the Falklands War, both the Gulf Wars and the Balkans conflict. The only truly successful V-Store strike aircraft design of the period, the Harrier became something of a cultural icon and an emblem of the British engineering excellence. The Tow Rapier was the first true collaboration between the former English Electric Guided Weapons team at Stevenage and the team at Filton. They, they 
they produce a lot of the climate what the science, the algorithm research laboratory and the supply the two sections of fuselage on display here are from the BAE-146 airliner. The 146 was a short-haul airliner launched in the early 1980s by British Aerospace. Its design was improved and developed over time, eventually becoming the Afro RJ. These aircraft remained in production until 2003, and many are still in use today. You may even have flown in one yourself. So this is a flight simulator and as you can see all the mod cons to give you a true idea of what it's like in the cockpit. So this section of the wing on the Airbus A319 seen here was fitted to an Airbus operated by two airlines in South America. It has flown nearly 28,000 flights and spent 40,000 hours in the air, mostly between Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Also on hand is an outside picnic area, or should you wish, you can go in the cafe itself. It's worth noting that the young ones have not been left out and they've got this smash and play area in the shape of an aeroplane. What else? Not to mention this handy little helicopter. Having finished with the aerospace galleries, time to head to the Concorde hangar. So we're now in the Concorde hangar. So this is the very last Concorde to be manufactured and the last to be flown. Let's take a look. such an exciting thing to look forward to to fly the Concord from London to New York. I think you need to even say power, speed and beauty. I'll put it that way. And the grace of that is just beauty. Having checked out the Concorde, 
our final visit is to restoring the hangar and the conservation workshop. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on great future content from Steve's World UK. Until next time, be safe, be good, be kind and be careful. It takes 24 hours for the world to turn once, but only two seconds to like or subscribe to see great future content from Steve's World UK.